Hi, my name is Kevin. Um, I am posting a video for a fireplace that we've had for a while. Uh, we've had it for about seven years. And this fireplace is something that, uh, it's an electric fireplace. We ended up purchasing it from Sam's Club. Um, spent like 600 bucks on. Everything's been working out great with it. It's got a cabinet and everything else to go along with it. Um, this year, when we fired it up, because we live in Utah and we... Uh, we typically only fire it up at the beginning of the year, um, at the beginning of the winter, sorry. Uh, this year when we went to fire it up, then it was given a really bad smell. Um, so we went through, pulled it all apart, double checked, made sure that everything was uh, nice and clean on the inside of it. It seemed like it was a dust thing. So it, we cleaned out all the dust from it, made it look all nice and pretty. Um, then it worked for about two days and then it stopped. Um, so it, I kind of let it sit for a little bit until I had some time to pull it apart. And, uh, today I was able to get some information from it, um, and found a kind of crazy discovery. So let me kind of run through it with you, uh, and we'll, we'll see exactly what happens. So, uh, let me, so here we have the cabinet, um, pardon the dust and everything else. Uh, obviously that's the spot where the fireplace goes. It's not in there right now because I, I pulled it all apart. Uh, but if you take a look, this right here is the fireplace. Nice, good looking little unit. Uh, we thought that we were going to end up having to get rid of it uh, because it just wasn't working. Uh, so I, I pulled it out of the chest and I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, there are these little brackets, and I hope that you can see this from the light. Um, they end up having two screws in them. There's three of them. One over here, one down here, and then one right over here on this side. They have two screws on them apiece. And then I pulled the back apart. Uh, this is the back. There's 12 screws that are on it. They're just these little tiny Phillips head screws, and I hope that this focuses all right uh, they end up going just right around at the edge here and they remove this plate that normally sits right there and it just so you are aware it is unit fp 30-2a and it's a Wayland product um, so what i did was i started taking a look to see what was going on. I plugged it in, checked it to be able to see uh, if I could get any type of spark or anything like that from it. Couldn't get anything. So I started checking all of the wires to see if I could find a fuse. And then I ended up coming down here to these wires right in the bottom. And I'm gonna tilt the unit a little so you can see it a little better. But I started checking the wires and came down to this one right here. Uh, it looks like this one comes right off of the power line. Uh, it's right down here with the ground and the, the negative wire um, and the positive. And it comes right off of this, the pigtail. So I started messing with it and it started getting flakes of green coming out of it. Almost like there was corrosion on it. Um, so I started messing with it a little bit more. Obviously, I had the power unplugged at that time, uh, but I I continued messing with it, and it started getting these little flakes. And this is a a piece of the wire that was on there. Sorry if it's not focusing. Hold on, let's see if we can get a better image of it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna focus but it kept on getting little green things off of it like that and you can actually see some down here on the bottom that are still there i haven't gone through and cleaned it up yet um but all i did was i cut about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch off of both of these lines and then put a wire nut on top of it i'm going to end up wrapping it with the uh, electrical tape as well um, but now when i press the power button turn the unit a little so you can see but now when I press the power button 
voila we've got fire everything's working you can end up seeing right up in here uh, the heater element is going to kick on here in about 10 seconds or so yeah so you can end up seeing the heater element working just fine and obviously there are no random sparks or fire or anything like that running from the electrical cord that I ended up fixing. Um, this is literally like a, I don't know, 10 cent fix in about 15 minutes worth of time. But it ended up preventing us from having to go through and do a full replacement on our unit. Um, obviously, there's a bunch of stuff in the background. I've got kids. Everything's... Everything's good. This is a family room that we're in, so uh, excuse the mess. But I hope that this ends up helping somebody else out there to be able to get their Wayland uh, fireplace up and working and not have to go through and spend a whole bunch of money. Uh, thank you so much, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.